by and large, superfoods or nutritional bullshit. It's a term used by nutritional gurus who want to market their products or supplements. However, if there is one nutrient we could truly call a superfood, it would be fiber. Welcome back, Dr. Milo Wolf here, local hard stool enjoyer here in the Wolf Coaching HQ. And today we're talking about nutritional dietary fiber. For this video, let's skip most of the poop jokes and get straight into the meat of the video. Let's look into the science on fiber and health. First, a meta-analysis by Reynolds and colleagues from 2019 looking at a huge data set. Here's what they found. Intakes of fiber of about 30 grams per day were associated with lower risks of all-cause mortality, so essentially dying, coronary heart disease, and especially of lower type 2 diabetes risk and lower colorectal cancer risk. In fact, the association between higher fiber intake and lower risk of type 2 diabetes and colorectal cancer seemed to hold up to even intakes of fiber of 40 grams a day or more. At this point, you might be writing up your comment about how I'm paid off by big fiber and that I should stop being so biased. However, others might be interested in what foods actually have fiber. Well, the common culprits of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains do appear. We can further distinguish fiber between salt soluble and insoluble fiber. But specifically, fruits and vegetables appear to potentially have some of their own benefits in their own rights. These both have unique health benefits and impact the risk for different conditions differently. So if you want to get maximum health benefits, you should likely get your fiber from a variety of sources and get both soluble and insoluble fiber in. However, to be honest, as long as your diet is reasonably varied, probably don't need to worry too much about checking the food label and everything to check whether your fiber is soluble or insoluble. But here are some common foods for both soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. For soluble fiber, fruits, vegetables, legumes, and beans are your best bet by and large. For insoluble fiber, whole grains, nuts, and seeds typically are your best bet. So try and get a combination of these food groups in order to get both some soluble fiber in your diet and some insoluble fiber in your diet. And indeed, a recent meta-analysis and meta-regression on the effects of fruits and vegetable consumption on overall health does confirm this. And in fact, you see positive associations between fruit and vegetable consumption and overall risk of dying, essentially, all the way up to 800 grams per day, which is around 10 servings of fruits and vegetables per day. Importantly, there does seem to be somewhat of an inflection point around 400 grams or five servings of fruits and vegetables a day, where you do see a sort of diminishing returns situation. So if you want to get most of the benefits with less effort, you could just get five servings of fruits and vegetables in per day and still get a pretty substantial benefit or bang for your buck. However, if you really want to ace the class, go all the way up to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables per day to optimize health. Before I give you some takeaways, let me give you a few caveats on the relationship between fiber and health. First, in this study investigating the relationship between fiber intake and overall health, keep in mind that there's a lot of overlap between consuming a lot of fiber and also having a lot of fruits and vegetables. And fruits and vegetables have a lot of antioxidants, polyphenols, phytonutrients, and other things that seem to positively impact health. And so it's difficult to really disentangle this. They do perform covariate adjustment analyses, which try and get to the bottom of this. However, it's not perfect. The good news as a practical takeaway is that no matter what, whether it's the fiber, the antioxidants, the polyphenols, or anything else, eating your fruits and vegetables is still a really good shot for optimizing your health. Second caveat, I am not a registered dietitian. So this is just a bro reading some science. Doctor bro, but a bro nevertheless. Takeaways, first of all, fuck all these diet fads. If they revolve around you eating only meat and excluding fruits and vegetables and whole grains, they're likely going to be coming at the detriment of your health. Get back to making sure that you eat your whole grains, your fruits and your vegetables. Try and aim for at least five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. If you do this, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. But if you really want to optimize your health, consider going all the way up to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables per day. A really good starting spot as far as overall fiber intake goes is about 30 to 40 grams per day. You could likely go higher than this and see even more benefits, but that's really if you're trying to overachieve. Anyways, that's the video. If you like the video, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys, my fellow fiber lovers, in that next one. Peace.